Okay, on to 61 in section 4.2, that's U substitution, that's page 426, and it says, find the integral of 1 over the quantity x root x to the fourth minus 81 dx. So, let's see what we can do with that problem. Hmm. That's the integral of 1 over x square root of x to the fourth minus 81. Well, you might say to yourself, self, I'd like to get rid of the thing inside the square root. So you could make your u x to the fourth minus 81, but then your du would be x to the third, and that doesn't really show up. Then you might think to yourself, hmm, well, I do have something that has a square root and the difference of two things. So off in the back of my head, I know that the integral of 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared du is equal to the arc sine, wait, sine inverse of u plus c. So that would be a nice thing to have here. Well, but this has to be a 1. So so let's let's embark on an endeavor to make that a 1. Hmm. I suppose we would have to divide by x to the 4th. But it would have to be under a square root. So We'll, we'll go to work on this. Let's make this uh, x to the fourth minus 81 over the square root of x to the fourth. Then when we combine those square roots, that'll become a 1. Now I can't just divide by x to the fourth. I also have to multiply times x to the fourth. Let me put that in right here under the square root. But we'll leave that separate. We'll actually work out what that is. So algebraically, what do I have here? I have 1 over the square root of x to the fourth is x to the third. Uh, let's see. And here, that's 1. Here, I have minus 81 over x to the fourth dx. So I'm getting fairly close to getting be able to work with this. Now this thing would need to be something squared, so when I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking to myself, this needs to be something squared. So 1 minus, I guess that's 9 over x squared, squared. And then if that were indeed what I'm going to make my u down here, let's see if I need to add some other terms in. So if u is... 9 over x squared du is going to be, you could think about this as being 9x to the negative 2, so that would be negative 18, uh, x to the negative 3, or you could put x to the third dx. So we're not so far off here. We have an x to the third. Let's see. So I guess I need a negative 18. That would be better if I put a, or only be true, if I put in a negative 1 18th out in front. That would be my du. So now I have uh, 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared du, and then that's negative 1 18th arc sine of u, and I'll just go ahead and write in what u is, plus c.